thank you to all of you. And here's our first question. How are you talking about the issue of climate change with your colleagues and with the public that gets to the heart at what's at stake, both for our health and our economy? Are you finding that this approach is helping to bridge the gap in agreement on both the problem and the solution? That it says a lot that we're here talking about this together today. Um, we represent different aspects of a larger system, but we all share similar concerns. Um, one way that Maine Health is involved is through its membership in the Maine Healthy Air Coalition. The coalition's made up of um, 60 public health and health care um, groups, and the focus is really on the health effects and the health care costs. But as I mentioned before, there's a really short distance between the health effects um, and having a productive workforce and a thriving economy. Um, I'm really interested in hearing from the senator and others about who have framed this issue with their colleagues in a way that really engages our partners and the public. Well, I think I think that question just got thrown to me, so <laughs> so I will comment on it. The strength of this panel today is each member talked in a very practical way about the impact of changes in our climate on our fisheries industry, our tourism industry, our farmers. It was our healthcare system, our, the health of the, our people, the fact that ticks are now going found uh, further and further north in Maine, and thus Lyme disease is spreading to areas that once never knew Lyme disease. When we talk about this issue, we need to relate it to people's lives. And that has been, in my view, the failure of the discussion of this issue. When people talk, and I've had wonderful conversations with scientists. In Antarctica, I talked to scientists from both Bowdoin and the University of Maine, and we should be really proud of the work the University of Maine is doing in this area, by the way. <laughs> but when scientists are talking about whether the planet is going to warm by 1.3 degrees or 2 degrees, it really doesn't mean anything to people. When you hear from Bill that the acidification is causing oysters not to be able to produce a shell, or you hear Bob say that he's concerned about whether people will still come to Sabasco Resort, though I can't imagine why anyone would not come, <laughs> uh, it, because of our air not being clean, or you talk to the people at Acadia and find out that they have ozone alert days, that affects jobs in our state. Whether we invest in alternative energy directly affects jobs in our state. When we hear Russell talk about the impact on maple sugar flows or when he brings in his hay. That again speaks to the heritage of our state. When we talk about the number of children with asthma, then it becomes real. And that's what we need to do in framing this debate. And that's what the, each of the panelists have done so well today. Thank you.